Well, let's begin with a zigzag pallet fence. This was the first one that I built, and it served well enough. I laid some slabs across the top, 90 degrees. Uh, I would have, if I were to do it again, no, no, I, that's, that's, that, that's pretty much right. Now I'll just sort of swing over here, and here's going to be the main event in the next while because that's the, you can see the goats there. I need to fence that so the goats cannot get out. There's a, a pile of pallets right there, all the same size and uh, style, which I'll probably use. All right, now we're gonna go up on a, no, well, let me just step over here a little bit. And that, <clears throat> that seemingly, well, it's a pallet fence, I guess you'd call it, but it's really a railing. It's just to keep, uh, people from falling off uh, that platform. And uh, since I'm down here, here you can see uh, a pallet hut uh, in the making. Two, three, four of them. All right, now we're gonna go up there. Before I step onto the platform, uh, here's a preview of coming attractions. I, I wanna build a, 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 pallet, a, a saw specialized for sawing pallets out of that. And uh, you'll you'll see more about that later. All right, now up here, these pallets that I used were were 36 inches, not 40. Uh, and uh, I, as I say, I put them here just to make it safe. And I tied them together. Now these are just pins. I could, I mean, they, they're screws, but I could pull them out there. Nails would have been better and I, and I missed you know, I I missed the wall I, I I wasn't I didn't have a real clear plan yet when I was doing this. It was very hurriedly before I went off to uh, Europe um, All right, and the pallet huts a different subject which is all there's already a baseline for them And I'll, I'll tell you more about that All right now down there. <clears throat> I use the certain style. Oh I don't know how to describe it uh, back and forth, back and forth, and it was okay, it was okay, but but the goats uh, can jump up, this, here's the culprit right here's Billy, or uh, Peter is his real name, but he doesn't have any trouble jumping up on something like that right there, he can jump on that, stand on that, and then, then go, so I'm not going to use that same style, Th those, uh, hmm, the, I don't know what to call them, other than what they are, they're hurdles, uh, made out of uh, a woven wire fence and, and a frame. Uh, they work real well, but that's kind of another subject. All right, here is where uh, Adam and I are going to start to work. I can do this so much better, uh, and I will. <clears throat> it, the, it, when they're close together like that, the wind blows it over. Uh, I'm going to put the smooth side on the inside. But one other thing I'll show you that's really handy is you can... You can run a, like here, here I did it, right here I did it. You can run a piece of wood straight through from one pallet to another to stiffen the whole thing up. All right, I don't know what else there is to tell you about as a baseline for pallets. And remember, these baselines are partly to show how much better something can look later. I'll have maybe Billy say goodbye to you.